Hey everyone, what is going on? And I am so excited to announce that we finally reached rank 10. Finally, it took all up until the Master League. Couldn't get in the Great, couldn't get in the Ultra. Finally, the Master League, we were able to achieve it. So I am going in with my same team just because I didn't want to mess anything up and I felt comfortable with this team. I think it's a pretty solid team. I went basically from 3,400 all the way up to 3,500. So I really like this team. Obviously, we have the Giratina Origin as the lead. We have Togekiss and Melmetal in the back. And again, I think it's a pretty solid lead. Towards the end, I've been encountering a lot of Dialga and Togekiss leads, which is obviously not good for Giratina Origin form. And then in that case, you have to switch. But I also see a lot of Melmetal leads as well. I've even seen Heatran raids. I, I'm not raids, Heatran leads. So, I mean... All of which Giratina Origin form is going to be good against. I do see a lot of opposing Giratina Origin forms Pokemon as well. But overall, I did like the team. I do want to try out a different team for Go Battle League now that I'm ranked 10. Even if my ranking falls down below 3,500, we're still ranked 10. So I don't really care. I just wanted to get it. So I'm really excited, guys. Leave a like if you're excited for me. Thank you so much for watching the videos. And thank you to all my opponents for battling. They were really great games. Uh, I did go 3-2 in the set, which was enough. I was currently at 34.99, and literally I needed one point. And if I went, if I won two and lost three, probably wouldn't have gotten it, right? Probably would have went down a couple points because all my opponents, I believe all but one, had a higher rating than I than I do. I could be wrong. I think so. I think so. But either way, uh, this is going well for us. We have the Togekiss out. We're going to block these Iron Heads from this Dialga. Can't take it, so the Iron Head is not going to go through, and we're going to be able to knock out Dialga, and in comes his Heracross, and we know that Togekiss can clean up against Heracross. So we do go ahead and win game one. So I was like, oh, game one down. We have to win at least two more, so let's see if we can do it. So we're going to jump into my next opponent. Again, picking the Giratina, Melmetal, and Togekiss. We do find my next opponent, Greek Prince. So shout out to you, man. Thank you so much for battling. I lead with Giratina. It is a Giratina mirror match, so this could go either way. Usually how I like playing this is I, I like charging up to the Shadow Ball and then going for Ominous Wind. And then they know that there's a possibility that it's a Shadow Ball, so usually they shield. So as you can see, we're going to go for the Ominous Wind right now. I knew he had Ominous Wind. He didn't have Shadow Ball ready. So he's going to go ahead and shield that one up because, again, it could have been a Shadow Ball. And he didn't want to take it, so the shield obviously makes sense. So we're going to shield this, and at this point, I am going for the Shadow Ball because two things can happen. He could shield it, and then he'll be out of shields, and he'll survive. Or he could just let his Giratina go down, or risk that it's an ominous win, but in this case, it wasn't. So he'll bring in Dialga. Totally fine with me. We do have a Melmetal that we could charge up to Superpower. I'm just going to go ahead and charge it up, and he switches into Kyogre. I think about it for a little bit, charge up a little bit more energy, and then I bring in my Togekiss. Now that... Kyogre is definitely charging up a lot of energy. I'm afraid it could have a Blizzard, guys. I do not want to be hit by Blizzard. That would knock me out. I take the attack. It's a Surf, so I do call that one correctly. So luckily for us, I was I was going to shield it too. I was going to shield it, but we decide not to. And we're going to hit the Ancient Power. He will shield that one up. And then I'm going to switch into my Melmetal, and the Melmetal catches this Surf. Still not going to pull the trigger on the shields. We go for the Rock Slide. I want the shields for the Pokemon in the back, the Dialga, right? Because he did charge... What is it? Is it Dialga? It is Dialga. Because he charged up energy. So I need the shield for now. We don't want Melmetal to go down. Uh, Iron Head would have been enough to knock us out. So I do go for Super Power right now. He's out of shields. No reason to bluff. And we do get off the superpower. We just need one more. And we just need one more. We get it before he gets to his iron head. And we're able to take this match. So we're currently two wins. Just need one more. Three more games. We just need one more win. To guarantee rank 10. To guarantee it. So we do go ahead and win the first two. So for the next one, I am going to lead with Giratina, Melmetal, and Togekiss. Again, it's the same team, right? You know, it's the same team. So let's see what my opponent has in store for us. And we're going to find my next opponent, and we'll see what happens. And I will lead Giratina. He leads Melmetal. I'm like, beautiful. This is a good lead for us. Let's see how it plays out. Is he going to switch? Is he going to take the Shadow Ball? He does switch into Dialga. I pull the switch into my Melmetal. Togekiss would have been a pretty good switch as well. You'd have to block the Iron Heads. But uh, I switch into Melmetal. Going straight for the Super Power. I feel like a lot of people don't block the first one now because they expect the bluff, as you can see right there. And obviously, if you go for the bluff and they don't shield it, that's not a good time for you. So usually, I do go for the superpower. I do take that thunder. 
Uh, did, it did a lot of damage. I was thinking eh, it could have been Iron Head. I was thinking it probably Dundo and Draco Media. Either way, the Alga goes down, so Meb Metal is able to knock it out. So pretty good situation at this point. In comes that Giratina, and unfortunately, unfortunately, that Giratina is able to farm us down and get up a lot of energy. Uh, no need to shield that on his end, so he does go ahead and knock out my Mel Metal. I bring in my Togekiss, and he's going to go ahead and switch into Mel Metal. I do switch into my Giratina, so we do catch this Rock Slide, which is good. I mean, obviously, we don't want to use the Rock Slide against Giratina. Uh, we don't want Rock Slide to go against Togekiss, I mean. So we're going to go ahead and go for the Bluff, and he shields that, so luckily for us, we do get that. He's going to go ahead and go for another Rock Slide. I do decide to shield this one. I don't know if that was a mistake, it probably was because we could have taken it. But right now I am going to go ahead and go for my Shadow Ball to try and get a lot of damage against Melmetal, but he will shield it again. I didn't want him to do that, but he did. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and shield this one. Uh, could have taken one again, probably should have taken that one, but he switches into Giratina. I switch into Togekiss to catch this move. So we do go ahead and catch the Shadow Ball. But it still does a lot of damage to us. I feel like I should have saved one of my shields. I shouldn't have shielded both rock slides. I think that's where I messed up. Because we would have had the shield for the Shadow Ball against Giratina. So he does faint us down. We're going to bring in Giratina. Unfortunately, he gets off the charge move before I'm able to. And I guess he wants the MP tie. He's able to win that. Or actually, we do survive and we get off this ominous win. But we're literally at 1 HP. So one fast move is going to knock me out from that Mel Metal. So... He's going to be able to win that. You know, we did have the lead too, and he still won. But it was a very close game, very good game. Again, probably should have saved that shield, right? Uh, so my Togekiss would have had and I feel like I would have won in that situation, but it is what it is. We still we have to win one more. That's all we have to win. So the next match is a Giratina Mirror match. So this could go either way. We'll see. As I mentioned before, I like char charging up for Shadow Ball, going for the Ominous Wind. Usually it gets a shield out of them. Usually they don't want to risk it. Uh, in this case, he doesn't shield, uh, but we get the buff. We get the buff. And when I saw that buff, I was like, yes, definitely, definitely, definitely shielding my Giratina now. So he actually has back-to-back -back Ominous Winds. This one I take... I guess I could have, sh uh, maybe I should have shielded that, I, I don't know, I, I decided to take it because I knew it was a Nominous Wind, so I'm going to go for a Nominous Wind to try and knock out this Giratina, and it will knock it out, uh, so uh, maybe I should have tried to farm it down, a couple of uh, things I'm recognizing now, but that's okay. In comes Dialga, we're trying to get to the Shadow Ball, we do get to it, so at least we get to the Shadow Ball, this is 100% going to take a shield from him. Because that would have done a lot boosted, would have done a lot of damage. So we have Melmetal, uh, we're going to bring in Melmetal, and we're trying to charge up enough for a couple superpowers. He does get off a charge attack against me, let's see what it's going to be. Going to be an Iron Head, so we're able to take that. Uh, we're going to go for the superpower right now, let's see if he wants to shield. We'll find out in a moment. See, he doesn't shield, probably thinking maybe it could be a bluff. That's why he doesn't want to shield. That's why I just go straight superpower. I know bluffing is good as well, but um, especially if it's not threatening to knock it out because Dialga is going to survive the superpower anyway. Now we go for the rock slide, and that will knock out Dialga. So he brings in a Mel Metal of his own. And when I saw that, I was like, oops, because I have a Togekiss in the back. So that's not going to be good for us. So I'm going to go ahead and shield up that rock slide. And we're going to go ahead and go for a rock slide to try and at least not lower our attack and defense anymore to take the shield. He does not fall for it, guys. He does not fall for it. Probably knew he could live the superpower anyway, so that was really a setback. He actually doesn't shield that either. So he's going to go ahead and get off a charge attack. Now the problem is I have a Togekiss in the pack and Togekiss cannot take two rock slides. So I was hoping I could faint him down before he got to two rock slides. And it's really close, it really is. So he's going to get off that one rock slide, does a lot of damage to my Togekiss. Uh, we're trying to faint him down, we're trying to faint him down, come on one more, no. We're not able to do it. We're just not able to do it. So he gets off another rock slide and he's able to knock me out. So right now in this set it's 2-2. So if I don't win the next one, I'm probably going down. Even though most of my opponents, like ones I beat were higher ranks. Like somebody I beat had like 100 points above me. So... Anyway, we're going to go ahead and jump into the final game of this video. If I win this one, we will definitely reach rank 10. So when I see that Glacier, I'm like, uh-oh. I know Glacier has an Icy Wind, which not only are we weak to Icy Wind, but at the same time, uh, it lowers my attack as well, which is not a good thing, right? 
So we're going to go for Ominous Wind. He does shield it up, so at least we take a shield. I was trying to switch to Melmetal to catch the Icy Wind. Uh, it wasn't fast enough, so the Icy Wind does hit. I let it go through, and I go for the Shadow Ball. Now, I thought the Shadow Ball was going to knock it out, and it would have had our attack not lowered. But he literally survives like 1 HP and is able to knock me out. So that's really unfortunate. So Melmetal comes in, which is going to be able to eat these Icy Winds. But it still lowers my attack, so... Not good for us, but he is down a shield, so we have to look at the positives. So we just have to see what he has in the back. I have absolutely no idea. He in comes Giratina. I switch to my Togekiss. He switches immediately into Dialga. And to be honest, I was actually happy to see this. I was like, at least it's not like a Melmetal or something, right? You know, it's not Melmetal, thankfully. If it was Melmetal, the game would have been over. So I'm going to block this Iron Head. Uh, we could take it, but it would do a lot. We're not going to take it at all. I'm going to go ahead and go for my Ancient Power right now. Diago will shield that up. Totally fine. I'm hoping to faint him before he gets to another one, but I don't think I'm able to. Yeah, it comes really close, but at least we have another shield to invest in against this um, Diago. So, we do go ahead and knock him out, and we go for the Ancient Power against this Giratina. So, Giratina will take it. We get the buff! We get the buff, guys! I think this buff 100% mattered. 100%, because we're going to be able to take the Shadow Ball. And we're able to win because of that buff. So good game to my opponent. And wow, I cannot believe it. I am speechless, guys. I cannot believe it. We won. We won 3-2. Able to get to rank 10. And that's going to be it for this video, guys. See you in the next one. Have a good day. Bye. Thank you so much for checking out my latest video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter. If you like this video, check out one of my other videos that you'll probably enjoy.